what's good y'all it's your boy ross back at again with another video so there's a lot of things happening right now in wwe there were more releases after i dropped the video yesterday there was more uh talent releases or whatnot and apparently vince mcmahon may not be in wwe uh going forward in the future i don't know how true that is but we're gonna check out uh this article uh talking about vince mcmahon maybe getting kicked out the door himself which is crazy to think about man um uh, this is on axios.com uh wwe founder vince mcmahon sets the stage for his possible exit which is wild to even fathom pro wrestling uh uh magnet uh vince mcmahon is uh hinting that uh he uh, wants out of the family business, according to the regulatory filings tied to WWE's recent merger with the UFC. Driving the news, the combined uh, entity TKO <clears throat> has registered, uh, registered all of McMahon's shares for sale, thus enabling him to avoid the lockup period that applies to other TKO stockholders like Endeavors and uh, Endeavor and Silver Lake. My man currently holds around 28, uh, 28.84 million TKO shares, which was valued at $3 billion as of yesterday markets closed. Behind the scenes, TKO first to close its registration plan on uh, page 184 of, of an SEC filing earlier uh early last month and neither the company nor mcmahon is commenting further on first glance this simply seems to be giving mcmahon flexibility or maybe even giving tkl flexibility given the ongoing investigation particularly given uh that the sub uh, subsequent registration statement filed last week doesn't include any underwriters but but the uh but the uh, but the that same filing says McMahon alongside two other TKO executives will be selling stockholders in uh in this offering. That's a definite verb tense pinning by lawyers who are paid a lot of money to be accurate. Why does it matter? McMahon is one of TKO's greatest assets, giving his institutional knowledge of the business. That's why he participated in listing day at the New York Stock Exchange last Tuesday, despite being on medical leave related to a spinal surgery, posting, uh, posing for photos with the Endeavor CEO, Ari Emanuel, and UFC boss, Dana White. But he is, uh, but he's also one of the greatest liabilities, not only for the past mis uh, mis uh, misconduct, including payoffs to cover up alleged sexual misconduct, but uh, because in July he was served with both a federal search warrant and a federal grand jury subpoena. Although the nature of the investigation is unclear and McMahon hasn't been charged with the crime. TKO itself says its regulatory filings. McMahon's uh, membership on our board could expose us to negative publicity and slash or have others advise financial and operational impacts on our business. His membership also may result in additional scrutiny or otherwise exacerbate the other risks described herein. Any of those outcomes could directly or indirectly have adverse financial and operational uh, operational impacts on our business neither tko nor mcmahon is commenting that is very interesting it's crazy vince mcmahon came back and the only reason why he came back is he wanted to make sure he can have control and then he sells the company or whatnot to endeavor to merge with ufc and now <laughs> the, that said company is now like hey uh we appreciate you vince but um there's some there's some things you're dealing with right now and i don't know if this is gonna work out we're, we're trying to you know grow our brand and right now you kind of you kind of in some hot water that's very interesting that's crazy that is insane now of course vince is gonna do whatever he needs to do to possibly stay in business you know stay you know in business when it comes to uh wwe but at the same time man i don't know that that's i don't know what's gonna happen here i don't know what they're gonna do 
Um, we still don't really know what's going on with the investigation that they've been uh, doing for Vince McMahon and, and everything that's going on with that. So we still have no clear indication what goes down. But the fact that they're putting it out there like, hey, hey, we, we respect you, Vince, but there's some things that you're involved in. Even though we knew you were involved in these things when we made the deal, now that the deal is finalized, uh, I don't know, man. You may have to, you may have to skedaddle, but we'll we'll make sure you paid well. <laughs> That's wild. Will do I think it will happen? If there's more information that comes out from the, you know, the investigation, if there's more information that comes out. I could see them possibly trying to get them out the door to save the brand's integrity or whatnot but but if nothing else really comes out i can see vince mcmahon still trying to pull some strings to stay within the company so it's going to be very interesting to see will vince mcmahon end up getting released as well as other all these other talent that have gotten released will he be future endeavored i don't know it's gonna be interesting to see but i definitely wanted to check this article out because I know a lot of you guys were talking to me about it yesterday. Uh, so I decided to drop it today. Um, but y'all let me know down below. Do y'all think Vince McMahon is going to be getting the boot from the TKO uh, Endeavor a UFC merger? Do you think at the end of the day, he going to end up getting the boot himself? Let me know down below. But I appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel. Road to 150K. And I'm still here in the speedy YouTube wrestling champion of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking me. See you on the next one. Peace.